at a work project and my designer quit at the last minute and I was like oh my god my designer quit and I know you do design work can you help me I'm like in a pinch and then I needed to wait to see the project through before I fully cut him off boom, boom, boom. Oh. I'm Zach Peter. I'm Jeff Epstein. I'm a disaster dater. I'm a disaster. You know, I'll start because Zach is a mess this morning, came in late, but welcome to disaster dater. First of all, da- I'm, to- I'm never late, and Danny said that too. She's like, I thought something was wrong with you because you're always the first one here. I was like, I know Jeff's the one that's always running in like a chaotic hot mess, but it's because our recording time is what, like two hours earlier than it normally is today? It is. Wait, I was like, I was like, oh my god! I was like, I think he actually got kidnapped because I was like, there's no way he would be late. And I was because she was like, do you think he's asleep? And I was like, no, he was up early. I already saw. And I was like, something. <laughs> yeah, I'm up at four thirty. Do you think I'm asleep at nine? I was like, something terrible has happened. Um, but no, perfect intro. Welcome to Disaster Daters, where we go on no dates, but we are just as. <laughs> well, I kind of, sort of went on a date last okay, night. Okay, so, yeah. Zach was trying to tell me, and I was like, just wait till we start recording. So tell me. Well, so, I don't know. It's this. Oh, God. I I always get myself into trouble. Um, It was this guy from Instagram. Mm. Cutie patootie. Um, And, like, before, you know, when I was, like, you know, really scrawny and blonde, I did kind of, like, try to hit on him. And he was just like, LOL. I just like your content. I like your podcast. Okay, whatever. Um, And then, so, he's like. You have a glow up and the boys come knocking. Yeah. Um, and so he's like, hey, I'm going to be around. Um, do you want to grab dinner? And I was, or first I was like, oh, well, if you're ever around, like, let's grab a coffee. And so he was like, yeah. And then he's like, actually, I'm around. Let's grab dinner. And I was like, oh, okay, let's grab dinner. So we went to dinner. One That's when you're you're like chilly nights and what are, I knew it actually. How did you know? I could just tell. It was like the way you're posting. You're like, oh yeah. And it was like, oh yeah, downtown LA, whatever nights or whatever you said. Chilly nights. Okay, so then you went to dinner. So we went to dinner, had a very lovely dinner, had a great time, you know, and then at the end of the night, we walked out. I went back to my apartment. He went to his car because he had a long drive home. So he gives me a hug and then a kiss on the cheek. And I was like, I like it wasn't established as a date, but it was also the first time we've like, I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. No matter what, like if it was just like a friendly thing, like I'm, like I'm not going to dinner with you and like kissing you on the cheek. Yeah, you give a hug. Yeah. So no, the intention is certainly romantic or relationship or dating type of you know intentions, but the cheek is weird. Just kiss me on the lips. Well, it was like an awkward cheek kiss that I didn't know if he was going in for like a full kiss and then I like was turned kind of and, like a, yeah mm. I did that and so and then it was just like a kiss on my cheek and I was like oh okay but also like I think he wasn't because he said like oh you're not the like you're not your personality is different than I would have expected it's like and you're I, less of a menace than I thought exactly he's like you're actually like a nice normal chill person I was like yeah I'm a normal part like I'm super chill. I go on the podcast and stuff like I know I have like an amped up personality and like online you know my online persona is a little more uh, like played up but it's like because then I would be fucking boring otherwise but so he's like no you're actually really chill like we vibe a lot we connect and I was like yeah I know hi I'm single okay I always say that too where I'm like of course it's going to be the most chaotic version of myself online because otherwise it'd be boring I'm like that is absolutely part of my personality like I mean and to be honest like that is def- the well, majority of my personality. Yeah. But I'm like, of course, we can still like be calm and nice. And, oh, you know, what's so funny? I was just telling people at the gym because we're working out. Yeah. And I was like, guys, I work out because this is my motto. Better body, better dick. Yeah. When you are looking better, like you the you pull in much better guys. Yeah. So I'm like right now, like I'm not in my best shape, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like coming back from injury. And I was like, guys, like, so I'll even know, like, there will be people on Grindr I'm talking to. I'm like, I'm not going to meet up with you for like another month or two because I need to get back into my prime shape. Or like, yeah. I just know that when I am, then they come out the woodwork. Yes. So now we have a prime example of somebody who was yeah. turned down. Yeah. And now he was turned on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. we can only hope. What does this man look like? He's a cutie. Show Listen. it. Turn it always like, yeah. Yeah, we won't show the camera, but I'll show you the Instagram and you can give can your raw. Can we say first name? No. How old? Um, My age. Okay. Your age-ish. So 42. <laughs> okay. That's my, my vibe. I wonder what if he follows me too. No. Oh, he 
he QT. He's a cutie, right? Yeah, a little rosy cheek, little munchkin. Yeah, he's a cutie. Okay, I'm looking for a following. Here's what you do, mutual. Oh, interesting are mutuals. They, who are the who are the mutuals? There's only one. It's Jay Kelly. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, I need uh, to ask him how. Yeah, he now knows I'm like, him. I bet he's probably gonna be like, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Okay, well. No, but it's so funny because then they'll come out of the woodwork or, yeah, like I will, I had at one point like gotten into even, uh, not even, I got into better shape. I was kind of like ditching a running body and getting like some more muscle. And I was like, whoa, they're coming out like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But so before, yeah, you never Do you think it's because you look better or do you think it's because you have better confidence and so you attract better? Because it's like the whole revenge body thing, remember? Because everyone wanted to cancel like Khloe Kardashian because they're like, your show, revenge body is not real. And she's like, what's well, about the confidence that you gain yeah. when you're working out? I think it's both. I told you, wait, did they, did it get canceled because of that? Probably. It went on for like four seasons though. Yeah. I actually worked out at that gym um, or like where that Lacey or whatever was. I think it's both. But listen, I, I'm also like, I can be very vain. So if I see somebody and they're like, maybe not in the best shape, if I'm already dating you and you get out of shape, it's different. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's why like when you become boyfriends, like you get, you get in the worst shape of your life. When you're single, you're always in much better shape. But yeah, if I am not dating you yet and you're like, not in great shape i'm probably like oh. and then does that sound vain yes is it yes so you'll date someone and then the body goes to shit and then you dump them no no when you're oh. dating somebody and then they go to shit then it's fine because yeah. you've already you know what I mean? so even like yeah. when you're in a relationship like i'll be like oh although i actually in like my last relationship relationship was like yeah, I was just, you know, you like, you're eating a lot of like dinners together and eating crap. You're like snacking yeah. and whatever. His roommate had cookies. So I always ate in the middle of the night. I don't keep it shit in my house. And I was feel like I was getting a little bit like thicker and squishier. Mm -hmm. And at the time, his roommate goes, Oh, yeah, you, well, you know, Ryan's a chubby chaser, right? And I was like, What does that mean? What does that say about me? That you're chubby. I was so offended. I would be so offended. Taken aback. Um, and I just like, just, it was yeah thicker and i still like just because of cross i'm like a thicker like especially in the legs and stuff a lot of people commented on our promo picture and was like wow thick legs your legs looked great thank you um people were trying to figure out they're like is this a podcast or is this like an engagement announcement i'm like guys if i were getting engaged like you would i would there would be no way i'd be able to keep that in the bag also yeah my friend friend greg said that too i was like why would i ever announce something like this. That's the silliest thing I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, like make a big announcement and do a professional for an photo engagement shoot. shoot. On like a director's chair. I was like, what's the matter with you idiots? And like, yeah, what, we'd be like on our phones. People are so dumb. I was also like, that's not my type. I want like a tractor driving boy from Tennessee. Yeah, see, that is fun. Okay, but he text me first this morning. Oh, I, I had okay, no okay. I, I had no intention of, of hearing anything. Just that he had a nice time last night. I had a great time reading it. I had a great time last night. How was your 4.30 a.m. dog gym time? I did too. We should do it again. Haha, ha, off to an early start and hit the ground running. How's your morning? Great. And then I like that you were already giving him some, you know, play to keep the convo going. 100%. I'm about to go do the gym and do all the things. Zach sent an outrageous gif. Um... And then I back at it. Okay, I love that he texted first. Wow, this is so exciting. I want this for But me. I'm like, wait, but this wasn't like established as a date and you like previously turned me down that like I'm very confused. No. Listen, if there's one thing we've learned here is get your ass in the gym, work yeah. out. No, but I always no, say this real. too. Like when I'm when I'm like out of the gym and I'm feeling like physically whatever, I'm so unconfident. I'm so self-conscious. Zach knew we had to do this photo shoot for this, and I was like, oh, I was like, I'm I've been injured. I was on a cruise. Mm. All you can eat and drink. So, you know, but when you're feeling great, you walk in, you're like, okay. Okay. Confidence. Listen, yeah. Zach is in a new era. He got his hair cut. He dyed his hair. He's wearing different clothes. Do we like the haircut? He's doing it's shorter. Orange theory. Theory every day. And going you, hard. And then the best thing, too, is you can meet guys there. Although, don't shit where you eat, because I've done that, and it's caused a huge issue. I did meet a guy there, though. It might be a little bit better there because you're still like just kind of popping for classes. I feel like CrossFit can be a bit more of like going to school every day. Yeah. So I recommend not shitting where you eat. That caused some chaos. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but Orange Theory, it's like, yeah, you pop. Worst case, what do you do? You take a different class. Yeah. Because they're not like hanging out. Like I'll be like, oh, I'll take a different class. But I'm like, I mean, you, you're like, you're still there. I'm there for 
sometimes I was there for five hours on Saturday. No. Doing God knows why I was drinking beer in the parking lot. I was, you know, doing whatever. But it's this whole like community. We yeah. have events together. Yeah. So it's like, you remember like, yeah, if you were in class in school and you dated yeah. somebody, it's like, you have to sit next to them. But I think you get in there, you're both seeing each other be vulnerable. You're sweating, you're grunting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ha- already have a, th- a something in common. And so I think you invite him for a workout. No, don't. I mean, with him, I'm a little like, what if I get embarrassed? I'm like, oh, was this kind of like a date? I had a good time. And he's like, LOL, no. No, that would be more somebody on the cheek. Well, that's why I'm like, what is the first time we've ever met off of Instagram? <sighs> text me first. Kiss on the cheek. Like, I'm so. Yeah. And the morning text after confirmed it. If you hear nothing the next day, it's either like they're uninterested or it's just like a friend thing. Yeah. To hear that the next morning and for him to mention your routine. Yeah. That's so 40. I'm wishing, ugh, I want this for myself so bad. But I'm so happy for you, but I want it for myself. I don't have anything though. It's oh. literally nothing. <laughs> you have a boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend. No, but it's I've a start. I've never had a boyfriend. I'm telling you, I know. I've we know. <laughs> reluctantly fought against that my entire we life. We know. What was I going to mention? I had thought about this last time. It was something about like boyfriend or something like, I forget. It was something I wanted to like go through, but I was like, oh, you've never had a boyfriend, so you wouldn't know. Mm. I forget what it was. Maybe it was something about breaking up with people. I don't know. Which I've also never had to do because I've bitch been broken up with. Oh, yeah. You've never broken up with someone. No. The only time was kind of a little bit was like one time I was, first of all, it was a Sunday night, Mm -hmm. right? I've worked the next day, not just work. It was like a very big shoot that I had. It was going to be like a 12 hour long day. I, had, I was like producing the shoot. So it was a whole big thing. Okay. This person who, you know, was, was higher up in the world and had some money. So he was like, I'll fly us to San Francisco for the night because he had to go there for work. He's like, just fly there with me. Okay. And then I'll fly you back in the morning for you to go to work, which is already so dumb. Like that's already, I was like, this is crazy, whatever. So we get to the airport. It's like 4 p.m. on a Sunday to just, just simply for me to go stay there with him for the night and like the four seasons, which was wonderful. But so we're in the airport and the flight gets delayed. Okay. And so I was a wizard. And again, I, looking back, I probably just like wasn't super into it, but also just very stressed and whatever. And I was like, I mean, I feel like I should just go home. And he was like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, what? Like, you're just going to, like, you just, like, leave me and go home instead? Yeah. Like, meaning not come on this. And I was like, well, I don't know. Like, I'm just a little stressed. Like, you know, I've, this is valid, right? And I'm like, I have this long day tomorrow. And he was like, so he was already, like, that created some friction in the airport. I was like, "Uh uh-oh, shouldn't have said that out loud. So I'm like, whatever. Then it gets delayed again. And he goes, well, now you probably should just go home. And I was like, no, I know. I agree. And he was like, oh, my God. He was like, I didn't mean that seriously. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. In my head, I was like, no, I agree. I should go home. Yeah. So then we fly to San Francisco. Obviously, there's things a little bit um, on edge because I had tried to ditch him twice at the airport. And then oh we're there. Goodness. We get there fucking like 7 p.m. I was so – I get very car sick. So mm. I'm very car sick. It's raining. So I was like laying down in the back seat of this fucking whatever Uber. And I'm like, this is a, a wreck. We get there. He's like, let's go find something to dinner. We get sushi, whatever. We come back. We're having this night in the Four Seasons. And then I was like, why well, have to get up at 3 in the morning to then catch a flight right back and go right to work, which yeah. is insane. Yeah, no. But and so you it, did it. There was some friction, right? But so I basically even knew, and even like with me doing that, that I was kind of like, okay, by me saying these things, like I could very well just be ending mm-hmm. the start of this. And then, yeah, I got to work that day for the shoot. The client's there. The client's sitting across from me at this table, and she goes, oh, my God, I just got fired. <gasps> Meanwhile, we're on the shoot, and I'm like, oh, my God. So then I'm like, oh, my God. I look at my phone, and I was like, oh, my God, I just got broken up with. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, because he texted me. He was like, that did not feel good. I think we should. this should be done. And I was like, no, I get it. It probably didn't feel good. Yeah. So, like, he broke up with me, but, like, I knew it. I was like, I'm I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. See, I – well, the only time I've ever, like, strung a guy along, I feel really bad because he was a really nice guy, and he was so into me. Um, But he was also, like – 41 and lived with like three roommates and I'm like unacceptable mm, not my vibe um, whereas I had other guys that like wanted to fly me on private jets and I was like mm, we need to find a balance a balance somewhere in the yeah. middle um, but so but I kept him going like we maybe we hooked up on the first and I want to say the second date but then by like dates three four and five I was like actively trying to not have sex with him but I kept seen him because I had a work pro- God, this is terrible. I had a work project and my designer quit at the last minute and I was like, 
oh my God, am I a designer quit? And I know you do design work. Can you help me? I'm like in a pinch. And then I needed to wait to see the project through before I fully cut him off. So I'm like, and it sounds and looks bad. <laughs> However, sometimes too, and those people come in your life, I think for a reason. You're like, oh, you yeah. end up becoming a professional connection or friendship connection. Now me and that guy actually are just friends. I haven't seen him talk to him in a while because he moved. But like after that, we'd hang out. We kind of almost joke about it. There was a time right after that where he was like hanging out with my ex then I had another ex after that and we broke up and then they were hanging out and I was like this is too weird guys I don't want you hanging out let's not do this they're they're like, talk no, about... they were both getting sober like the one guy was getting sober, sober and my other ex was sober and so he was like kind of like taking him under his wing to like whatever and I was like happy for his sobriety I was like Fine, somebody else to guide you. We're not doing this. I was like, this makes me really uncomfortable. Why? And he was like, why? He's like, we only talk good things about you. He's like, he just like, he's like, we just talk about how love. I was like, I don't want this happening at all. And he was like, Jeff, we like barely dated for like a month. And I was, he's like, you clearly even weren't into it. I was like, I want it not happening. Why? Do I not want it happening? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it. You can't police other people. No, I know. I mean, I didn't really say like I was more so saying that to friends. I might have no, said once I get and it that, makes me a little but weird. Still. Anyways, but so, yeah, I was kind of, like, not sure. He kept trying to, like, woo me. I'm also not somebody that's wooed. Like, I want somebody that's down in the dumps trash with me, and then we kind of come up together. Mm. So, well, or whatever. Yeah, but at some point, you're going to age out of that. Job. No, of, of course. But even so, I, I didn't want to like somebody just because they're, like, I mean, like, from the jump. I remember I was, like, oh, I, I love, like, press juice or something like that. The next day at my door, a $300 gift card to, to Moon Juice, like, shows up my doorstep. Oh. I'm like, what? So I, and this, juice. I don't know. I was like, okay. So all these things were, like, enticing. All of a sudden, I was like, oh, my back hurts. He, like, booked us a massage at the peninsula. I'm like, okay. Then it was like, he, like, had me in touch with these doctors because I was like, I have all this body pain. Like, a, a lot of good stuff. But I was just like, I am not, like, and I feel like I kind of kept being a little bit like, oh, I'm, you know, whatever. And then I guess the San Francisco incident was like, he's not super into it. And this doesn't feel good. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, it was cool, though, too, because he was into music. And that was like one time we went to the Jingle Ball. And I got to go backstage. We were like, hey, I was Shawn Mendes. Had wow. Some interesting stuff there. Um, let me tell you. Tell Remember? me. No, I'm not telling you here. I know. I think I've said this on the Patreon. But. But this is not behind a paywall. No, no, no. That makes me scared. But then I remember the next day, too. Like, yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Strung people along. Yeah. It happens. But that's not happening for Zach now. He's in a new relationship. I'm not in a new relationship. <laughs> I'm not even like putting my head in that space because I'm just like, no, thank you. Okay. Well, speaking of Sean Mendes and celebrities, so yeah. I was like, let's go through some celeb couples. Okay. Since cl clearly our listeners like pop culture. Yeah. Unless they're new listeners, which I in was that like, case, welcome. I was like, damn, I used to, I was loving not having to talk about. But I never talk about new stuff because to no. me, pop culture is dead anyways. I talk about nostalgia stuff. Nostalgic, yeah. That's what's fun. Yeah, which I guess – do you think pop culture is dead? Yeah. Okay, thank you. But It died some... in like the 2000s. I agree. Sorry, that was gross. Yeah, like the Britney Lindsay era. Oh. Us Weekly. Oh. Snapshots up the up the skirt, like all of that stuff. Like that was peak pop culture. Which also I will say this real quick because it does tie into dating. I was talking to this guy, Paul, yesterday at CrossFit. He's like a 50-year-old straight guy. Okay. Comedian, whatever. And he was like, Oh yeah, back in the day I used to he was like, Oh, you used to see Lindsay out and like the Olsons. I was like, Oh my god, tell me more all this stuff. But we're talking, and again, a straight guy perspective, and I've always thought this too. And we're talking about Taylor and Travis, and he was like, Here's the thing. He was like, she's not even hot. And I was like, that's what I always say. Yeah. She's actually, first of all, looks at her nose like, looks like her whole mouth's like kind of like this. It's like <laughs> yanked up by a string. And it's like her teeth are like bucking out a little bit. It's like, uh, that was mean. But <laughs> she's actually, she's not an ugly girl, but she's not this hot girl. And so what it is now, it's almost like she's. She's not a Megan Fox. She's masking as this hot girl. And she, because she was also a loser growing up and now she wants the jock. So she's like, oh, I have this jock. But like if this were, if she weren't Taylor Swift, that wouldn't be the case. And he wouldn't be so attracted to her and all this stuff. It's just very wild to me. Yes. I also don't think he's super attractive, but either way. He's not super attractive. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't get the hype with Taylor and Travis. To me, they're kind of just each mediocre and, like, overhyped. If you had to pick one of Taylor's relationships, what do you think it would be? Oh, your God. Favorite? I don't know. It's a toughie. Jake Gyllenhaal. No, I don't Jakey know. Jakey G? John Mayer. Um, no, the one that she was with. Joe. Yes. I thought that was too. I was like, yes. they seemed like a like, quiet couple. Yeah. That was a good one. This one, I just feel like it's too... Overexposed, it's too out. It feels too sticky, you know. Yeah, where I'm like, like I, I am like, I want to see love. Yes, I want to see lovers in love. So, do you like like Courtney and Travis? 
Okay, honestly, I really do, and I feel like Courtney gets a lot of crap. She's always been my favorite Kardashian anyways. Well, and not so much anymore. But I'm like, those two are so in love. Is it love or is it like an infatuation? I think it's both. I think part of it may be a little unhealthy, this like weird almost addiction with each other, but I'm like, they are so in love. Or like Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. We can be pushing it there. The whole like, I don't do twin With flames. the blood, yeah. I don't do the twin flame stuff. I mean, I don't know. Do you think they're okay? So basically, my game is like we're gonna go through some and say, are they couples? Goals? Okay, okay. Let's do. Well, it. Let's start with. So then, let's start with Megan and MGK. M MGK. I like MGK. Well, I like his music. I don't know if I like him personally, but I do like his music. I like his music, not him as a person, but I'm attracted to him. There's something about him. Oh, there sure is. And like a, <sighs> oh, like just you know, his fingernails are always dirty, oh. but like Machine Gun Kelly. What about Pete Davidson? Absolutely. Not. Re oh, I was like, oh. I thought you were gonna lean I into that, and I was like, no what? way! I don't get it at all. I don't get the Pete Day. Like his hands are always just like Cheeto dusted, and just oh. like you know, and he just has like musky breath. I mean, he looks ill, but yeah, I will say when him and Kim were together, I was like, I like. I didn't think they were gonna be like longtime lovers, but I liked their relationship. No, I, thought I didn't. Was, okay, I did not. I was oh. like, what is she doing? This is a total bad rebound. Okay, but so MGK, Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Megan's hot. I, no, but couples goals, yes or no? Um, n It feels unhealthy. Like, it's a little too addictive. It's a little too over, like, the exchanging of blood, yeah. like, drinking each other's blood, just, and he just clearly has a lot of, like, issues that I think makes it challenging for her, and I just, I don't think that's a healthy relationship, no. Agreed. I like Courtney and Travis, but I don't like MGK and Megan. Yeah, and Courtney's and Travis feels more healthy. I think with Megan and Machine Gun Kelly. Also, remember they like allegedly had like kind of broken up. It was like in the summer or something, but then we're fine. Yeah, because of like some fighting. Yeah, they feel like a chaotic couple. I don't want chaos and fighting. Sometimes it can be exciting. Sometimes my mind will trick me and be like, oh, I want Oof. exciting. Yeah, I like exciting. But you want a nice, a slow burn, like Casey Musgraves song, <sighs> and you guess. want a nice boy, but. Would that be exciting? Of course. Yeah. Of course it would be. Okay. Next couple. Okay. And I'm looking. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. I'll say no. couples goals. Ugh. I mean, they're just kind of, I mean, sure. They've made it work. They just seem a little boring. I'm attracted to their son, Chet. Chet is hot. I. Chet is a vibe. Whew. And just like how chaotic he is, I just, I'm like, I like Chet. That, you're so, that boy is chaos. Yeah. Yeah. And he's gotten into some Wasn't trouble. he dating someone? Oh, Kim Zolciak. What? They did Surreal Life oh, together. Oh, no, but they weren't actually, did, no. No, but they were like, I was like, what? They were like, you know, doing their thing in the house. Fornicating. Did that ever come out? It hasn't aired yet. No. We need it to air. Kim and yeah. Chet, hell yeah. Yeah, he's, I like a, he's like, you know when I say like trashy, like, like yeah. what I'm attracted to? Yeah, yeah like trashy. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see his character on Outer Banks? No. Oh, even then I was kind of trying. Oh, he's on a show? He was on like the first two seasons or something. Yeah. I didn't realize he was an actor. I Me mean, neither. And then I was I like, I thought Whoa. he was just a rapper. No, and now he's like a fitness coach. Oh, God. Aren't they all? Yeah. Okay. Who's okay, next? okay. Well, and I think Tom and Rita are a couple's cool. Yeah, sure. Okay. Beyonce and Jay-Z. <sighs> I mean, I like the idea of a power couple. And also, he I just did, don't think they like each other. other. I don't think they like each other I anymore. Don't, I think they're like business partners. Yeah. Yeah. And I, again, he cheated. I can never come back from cheating. Mm -mm. And Solange clearly can't either. No, she beat him up in the she elevator. She beat the shit out of him. And then didn't Beyonce have a song about that? And she's like, shit yeah. goes down mm -hmm. when there's, there's a million dollars, dollars on an elevator. elevator. Billion. Billion. Sorry. Yeah. I, I think you're right. I think they're not super. I think she's not crazy in love. No. Also, she's so fucking weird. I, she's like doesn't speak. It's very bizarre. Beyonce? We know nothing about her. She's like a, not a human. Yeah. Beyonce. Yeah, I know. When we saw what was the last award show she was just at, where she had the cowboy hat on and the oh, the, the wig. Yeah, I was like, I don't like this look on her. She. Everyone kept saying she looks like Karen Huger. Well, she did. Yeah, and I think Jay Z's ugly. Okay, Jay Z's definitely. He's not a. Looker. I don't think he's ever been attractive. He's he's not a looker. Okay, okay. Wait, Beyonce, Jay Z, David, and Victoria Beckham. Yes. yes, couples. Goals. Absolutely. They still seem there's a spark. Yes, a spark, a love when he was trolling her in the Netflix documentary that they did. I That was great. Okay, this is going to sound maybe it sounds dumb. Yeah. I said, "Oh, where is this documentary? People will talk people were talking about it." 
this at Netflix. I like could not find it. I never watched it. I oh. just saw that one clip that oh. they were using um, to like that he, she was talking about how she had like a humble upbringing and he was like your dad drove like a Rolls Royce oh down. I did see yeah. yeah that was the only thing I saw yeah but like, like you can just tell like they are into each other they're attracted to each other they like you know do the work yeah yeah I agree I like also and even like in my hinge profile I think it says like for my prompt one of them says my idea of a relationship is and I said making fun of each other until you have sex like I love yeah. that dynamic yes I want us to be yeah have you ever wrote like one of those like this is my no. ideal partner list no no when your prompts are so long we're not doing that I want short witty answers and I look for humor in your answers no, I'm saying, like, oh. have you ever written out a list of, like, this is what I want my ideal partner to oh, look like, like for Donaldson? you? <laughs> yes. No. You would never? No, because it's in my mind. But, like, when you put it on paper, it's, like, the power of manifestation. Uh, I feel like I've done it, like, three times and I'm still single, so I don't know how. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, no, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. My list is long. Okay. Oh, this is a weird one. Will and Jada. Obviously no. not. <laughs> I mean, Hell no. Obviously not. Do you think she's in love with you? No. Because wasn't she like banging Jaden's oh, yeah. friend? What? Yeah. You don't remember that? August? No. She was banging her son's friend while she was with Will. And then she outed it on the Red Table Talk. She's like, so Will, let's sit down and talk about that one time that I was banging our son's friend. And he just like looked so uncomfortable. And she's like, no, this is Red Table Talk and this is where we talk about it. And it was like really uncomfortable. And then she came out with her book these all these years later, and she's just like, "Yeah, well, we technically not been together for years, so I wasn't really cheating on him when I was banging my son's friend." She's like, "So it's okay that I was banging my son's friend because we are separated. We're just not divorced. Not couples goals. Not couples goals at all. I would never want to date Jada." Okay, one of my to me these are like this is like couples goals. Okay. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Oh yeah. Oh. This will be an everlasting. Did they break up and get back together? I don't think so. They've always been together. And they've never gotten married. And that's why they're just like weird. That's why they were. See, but I also like like Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk. Because remember when they got married and they like they kept their houses? houses? Yes. I like that. All right. Give me space. Give me independence. Give me separation. I was talking about that at dinner last night. That separation is healthy. Oh, oh, Separate they, bedrooms may be a healthy. You didn't you scare know. them off. No. Well, actually, he brought up the conversation. I was just like, fuck yes, I agree with that. I, and I brought up Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Falchuk. Like, alone time and personal time and separation, the separate houses is too much for me. I still do love, like, being, you know, I want to, like, snuggle and do all this stuff. I would like the idea of, like, a spare bedroom to have time alone. Maybe. Like a man cave? I guess. I don't know. Maybe I want to share a bedroom. I would, I, I would be okay not sharing a bedroom. I want to share a bedroom. You definitely need separate bathrooms, though. I separate hear that bathrooms, a one hundred percent. Yes, yeah. So, it's... are you? Is your bathroom messy? No, everything in my home is spotless. Yeah, and if I walk into somebody's house, or if I'm on a, like a first date or whatever, we're going to your house near your bathroom. It's, I'm I... judging you so fucking hard if I'm going into your apartment. That's why I. If there's, if your toilet is dirty, ugh, <sighs> all of it. Yeah. Yeah, but no, so Kurt and Goldie, I love them. They're great. Definitely couples goals. Ellen and Portia. No. No. No, no. There's not even a need. No, yeah. there's just, I don't know. No. Megan and Harry. No. No. Are you kidding me? You think I'd want to be dating Meghan Markle? No, no, but it's more so like, are they goals? Like, do you think No, they're because love? she looks yeah. terrible. And I think yeah. it's like, he's like caught in Stockholm syndrome and he's just like, all right, I just have to, I gave up my family for this. So now here we go. Harvey does think they're pretty in love. But I, I can't stand them, but I do think they're kind of... I don't think they're genuine. I mean, I think he's, like, infatuated with her, and I think she's in love with the idea of being with him and, like, the privileges that come with being with him. But, like, privileges. somebody is laughing Yeah, somebody's so laughing like a hyena. Loud outside. Hello, we're at Spotify here. This isn't <laughs> the jungle gym. This isn't Discovery Zone. Okay. <laughs> Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman. No, I think their relationship is weird. I think it's vanilla. Yeah. I think they're weird. You don't think she has like a sex dungeon? No. Okay. I mean, no. 
It's Nicole Kidman. Are you happy for, what do you think about Paris and her husband? Great question. Okay. It's fucking weird. I watched the first season of Paris in Love and gay. I was like, he's just like weird. I was like, she, he's just perfect on paper. And yes. that's what it is. I'm like, this is not like, she's not like, I don't think she thinks he's funny. He's like, like a gay super fan. It's weird. Like, I just don't see him. Like he lets her be the alpha and that's fine. Which, because in some relationships, I think that that works if you, you know, if the woman wants to be the alpha or whatever, you find the power balance that works in your relationship. But I just feel like with them specific, like she clearly has to be the one that is the alpha because she wants to dominate the life. But like, I don't, it's just weird. I don't feel like she, like, they're not like having good sex. Like they're not like enjoying each other in the bedroom. No, and there's no like. There's no chemistry. No chemistry. And she's just like, oh God, he's like. Oh, babe, yeah, for sure. And it's like high pitched, a little scratchy voice. And I'm like, it's so weird. I remember him. I used to talk to and and uh, oh. no, 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 no. Uh -oh. Used to like work business wise, work wise. They used to run Vive. That was like their acai spirit. It was like Oof. a vodka. No, Vive. V e e v. I know the difference. I know v love. Yeah, Vuv. champagne. Vuv. Vuv. And Vive. Yeah, V, yeah, V E E V. So it was like this, like frosted bottle, and it was basically like an alternative to vodka because it came from acai versus like a a wheat or a barley or a potato or a grape. Well, you should make anything out of vodka, or you can make vodka out of anything. But so they had their own spirit, and it was like the healthier liquor. And so they had that, and they I think eventually they sold it, and it didn't really go anywhere. But you knew but, because you was because of that. Yes, through like events that I would do that would work with Vive, and they would donate like their cocktails, and you know supply it for. Occasionally, I'll find like a random Vive bottle out out in the wild, you know, kind of like a skinny girl bottle. You'll just like occasionally yeah, find they, one. They, yeah. But so that's how I remember because they're two the Reem brother Reem brothers Room Reem Room Reem. Okay. Is it Room? It's R E U M, so I assume it's room. No, but I think they pronounce it Reem. Carter Reem. Yeah. Ugh. Carter and Courtney. They're the His brothers. His brother's name is Courtney. Yeah. So I think Courtney was the one I used to talk to, who would like do the one of my like event sponsors. One of my like no nos. I don't think I could date a guy with a girl's name. Like not a yeah. Courtney. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a Kelly. Wait, so when it comes to dating someone, are you the type that like wants the relationship? on the podcast, on social media? Like, are you going to put the relationship out there? Or are you like a, no, we're keeping this for us? I mean, I feel like just going based on history, I'll like, because I'll like touch on my life sometimes, like a story of like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. And we were just like, did this this weekend. But like, that's, there's no like detail about it. It's just like, oh yeah, we were doing this. Or like, y yeah. It's yeah. not like, and it's never like an announcement on social media of like, we're blah, blah, blah. It always takes like a couple months and people are like, oh wait, I think he's dating him because he's like in his stories or whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not like, this is my boyfriend. See, I feel like, Jesus Christ, somebody's like, somebody's weird. getting railed out there is what's happening. <laughs> okay. um, no, for me, like, I, like, listen, my podcast is every day. We stream for like almost an hour daily and we do members only episodes like my own patreon it's just on on apple and on youtube but like there's so much of my life that's put out every day that it's hard to not share these things about my life and that's one thing that was very challenging with this last situation was you know when you're dealing with other people that are very private that don't want their lives out there it becomes hard compatibility wise because i'm like but i live my life so openly and it's hard because i'm just so much like i want to say this and i want to talk about this and i want to this happened to me over the weekend and that's just me but then when other people are like i don't want my business out there like i don't want you know people knowing details so it's like i want to be able to respect certain boundaries and certain privacy boundaries but i'm also like but like this is kind of what you're signing up for if you're dating me, which has made it challenging. No, and I agree. I think that, well, first of all, I'm like, I just don't tell them. I like, I've definitely talked about things on the podcast, but I just don't tell them. I'm talking you don't about have it. people that go and tell them? No, I don't think, not, on, not since it's been on Patreon. Before that, well, yeah, Patreon has a little bit more. I'm telling, yeah, that's so the like, hard part. At one point, he like, did subscribe, though, and I was like, unsubscribe. No, people have also, like, 
they'll like pop into an Instagram live and then they'll pop into like a YouTube and they'll like ask me random questions and I'll like answer a random question. And then they're like, oh, we put together what you said on the Instagram live with what you said on the podcast the other day. And now we know that you slept with so-and-so. And I was like, I never said that I slept with so-and-so. They're like, but we put two and two together. And I was like, why are you investigating my life? Again, I've gone back to one time somebody figured this out because they saw a, po- or a playlist that I made for somebody or like that they had made for me and yeah. it was like name or whatever. No, I think it's like, they pick apart everything I do. I told you, they thought at one point that I was dating you because I was posting you and you reposted like my wine that I brought you and people were like, oh, clearly something's going on there. I was like, no, I'm literally taking all of my friends my wine so that they can post it on their Instagram and yeah, promote it. Promotion. No, I mean, I think it's like one of those things where oh, it will just naturally come about and you're like, oh, like, or like, I remember, I remember like we went on vacation, so like clearly I'm dating this person or whatever. Yeah. But, like, that's all it is. But, yeah, I mean, I'll talk about what I want to talk about. Just naturally. But I, I don't like people that, like, make it, like, a whole thing and be like, our relationship with some of my boyfriend this weekend and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't no, know that. that's obnoxious to me. Which I feel like. I think if and when I do decide to get in a relationship, I'm going to try to keep it as quiet and private as long as I can. And maybe people will pick up on some clues. But I think that's one part of my life I don't want to overexploit for the first time. Which is what we were, we were talking about with Taylor and Travis. It's yes. Like, it's like, yeah, if you want to pick up on clues. Yeah. I like to when we don't know for a while that celebrities are dating and all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait, they're dating. And like they're like, yeah, we're not going to like hide it. But like we're not like, oh, this was so like, we're dating. Yeah. It's. And I'm meeting the mom. And it's just, it's, it's too much. It's, I was just saying today, I was like, there's no way Lana Del Rey likes this girl. No. There's no way she likes when her. When she brought her up at the Grammys and she like dragged Lana up on stage with her, I'm like, she just fucking lost the award. She doesn't want to be attached to your, I get it, she worked on your album too, but she doesn't want to be up there with you when she lost in the same category. Like, it was so. I said this yesterday like, to that guy actually that I hooked up with recently that was playing Taylor Swift while we were hooking up and whatever was all stuff and I was like oh you were right like she won because I said uh, the Lana won and then he was she was like or he was like yeah but she brought her up and blah, blah. I was like I found it to be the most distasteful point in the ceremony yes of the evening yeah I don't like that but yeah so I'm like she doesn't like her she and she keeps things private you know okay Eva is it Eva or Ava Mendez I think it's Eva Eva, what well, depends? Well, it's Eva for you, for us. Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna say couples goals. Sure, yeah, yeah. Keeping it private. They keep it private, but they still seem to really like each other. Yeah. From what we see. Okay. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. No, it's a no. There's something about them that's like I get the nostalgia. People be like, oh, it's Benifer and they're together. But there's something about they were Benifer, right? They were Benifer, yeah. Yeah. There's I was like I was thinking. Well, I guess it was like Benifer 2.0 when he was with Jennifer Garner. Yeah. Or yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, there's just something about like he just doesn't seem happy in life. Like every time you see Ben Affleck, he's always just like ripping a cig with his Dunkin' Donuts, and it's just, like, like he just seems like he's so displeased with his life. Well, that's why I said too, and I'm like, so clearly, like, is she... what does she see in him? Well, and then I'm like, okay, because you know she's a goody two shoes and like doesn't drink or anything like that. Oh, she doesn't. No, loser. No, I'm just kidding. And so, but he's like in the car, like ripping cigs, and I'm like, what is this? Is so, what's going on here? And then yeah. yeah, you think, oh, he's back with like this love of his life that he like lost for so many years and then got back and whatever. But he seems miserable. He seems miserable, like in general. And you know when he seemed happy when he got married to Jennifer Garner. I think they actually were, but I think she just wasn't putting up with his shit anymore. Yeah. And I think that he probably realized that he lost her. Yeah. I think Scott Disick, like, yeah. Exact same thing. And so now he's with J-Lo because he's like, there's nothing better that I got here. And he's like, at least like there's like that nostalgic, almost fanfare around She's it. She's going to dump him at some point. I think so too. I mean, she left Mark Anthony. She left Casper. Oh yeah, Casper. Oh, poor Casper. Wasn't he, isn't he gay now? It feels like it. Yeah. It feels like it. Listen, embrace your truth. Yeah, but you're right with Scott and Courtney. Okay, so even though I said scored Courtney and Travis goals, I actually, and I still want this, I want Courtney and Scott. I would love Courtney and Scott together. He just can't get his shit, shit together. together. Exactly. I don't like this. I don't like, I like Courtney and Scott, Ch- Courtney and Travis as a couple, but I don't like this version of Courtney Kourtney. Kardashian. And that's what I said. Yeah, because I loved Courtney. She, she was always my favorite, but I'm like, yeah, now I don't really like her as much. But when, and we talk about like that playful dynamic. Yeah. It's almost like Travis and Courtney, there's like two, there's just like no sort of like, there's like 
ribbing or like no. even a little disagreement type of thing. It's just so like, whereas they were like witty and banter fun and, and fun. playful. And her personality was different. She had long hair. She had cute outfits. Like she yeah. was really into fashion. And now she just like wears these like really distasteful like grunge outfits that like do not look good on her at all. Her hair is ugly when it's short and chopped. She looked terrible when she went blonde. Like it just. Yeah, I think her. And so you're right. And that's what I'm like. Oh, and Scott knows that's his lover. Yeah, he was never going to like go the distance like Sophia Richie. No. Or um, uh, Amelia Gray. Oh, no. That was funny. I was like, oh, my God. And like clearly. And she's just like so excited at this like older famous man relationship so she's like oh my god and he's just like grow up it's like you're not interested mm -mm. um okay john legend and chrissy Teigen. i'm gonna say couples goals sure yeah i actually do like them together like you know they seem to really like each other they can riff with each other they have a fun personality they have babies they have they have the vibe they have babies yeah they have a lot of babies no they only have like two babies no they have four now four yeah so i'm like no they have four now oh my god that's so many babies well, okay. now, no wonder she's not trolling people on the internet anymore. No, she doesn't she's have time. Got a baby on her nipple. Remember the Courtney Stodden of it all? When she's like, Courtney Stodden's like, oh my God, she told me to kill myself. Not that, like, listen, I'm not trying to make no, no, light of, like, cyberbullying and whatnot, but Courtney Stodden is just something else. She was trying to make a moment out of that. I will say this, she's too. She's continued to do that. Because Courtney Stodden used to follow me. This was, like, years ago. And I'm like, oh, and I was like, oh, I would love to have her on the podcast. And her manager was like, oh my God, Courtney or Georgie, she would love to. Here's her fee, and she wants transportation. And I was like, that's not how this works. No. Just so people know, because I feel like people are very confused by this. You don't get paid to go on podcasts. Right. The same way you don't get paid to like go on the Ellen DeGeneres show. No, I think people are confused about that too. You're not getting paid to go on a talk show. No. You don't get paid for that. You go because you're promoting something. You're gaining the publicity. For, like, it's a transaction. You're getting invited. And sometimes yeah. it can be more leverage, yet yeah, more transactional, beneficial on one, one side. But but it's still a transaction. And it's like, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Totally. Is basically what that is. Courtney started, no, there was one time, there was this other, like, digital network that they came to me and they're like, we're going to launch a podcast with Zeus Courtney. Numbers. No, it's not Zeus. They, they're not around anymore. Um, but they were like, we're launching a pod. They had two celebrity podcasts that they were launching. One was with Chad Johnson, who's now on OnlyFans. Ocho Cinco? No. Oh, Bachelor. Bachelor Chad, yeah. Oh, okay, Bad Chad. Okay, okay. They had that one, and then they had one with Courtney Stodden that they were launching. And they're like, we want you to come on and be her co-host. And I was very reluctant. I didn't want to do it, only because I knew like the brand of Courtney Stodden. And I was like, I don't know if I really want it. They're like, give it a try. And so they're like, do a chemistry test. And so I agreed to a chemistry test. And before I knew it, they didn't tell me that the chemistry test was then being turned into the pilot. And like they were moving forward with it. And I was stuck on this show with her. And she was a disaster, Jeff. Like, always late. Always needed to be drinking. She would bring her dog into the studio and he would like pee on the floor and she would think it was the funniest thing. And I would be so annoyed because I'm like, I just want to do my fucking job here. Like I'm not, I wasn't even getting paid for that podcast. I don't think she was getting paid for that podcast. I think they were like selling her on like, if this gets really big, like it could be so big revenue wise. It so didn't make it past three episodes. Do we have the lost episodes? I think they're still on YouTube somewhere. I'll be Googling them. Um, I think I still have, like, the lost pilot. But, like, maybe I'll release that on, like, my members only. Um, maybe I'll watch that today. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, no, the show ended up getting scrapped because I quit. I was like, I'm not fucking doing this. I'm not working with her anymore. Like, this is ridiculous. She, But she would do things. Like, she would try to, I remember, she would, her brain is so, like, um, season to try to make headlines that when she was on mic she would like try to pick fights with other celebrities when we would cover hot topics with the intention of trying to turn it into a headline that's why anytime i see a headline that involves courtney stodden i'm like she's doing this for the publicity i can see that Ugh. okay we have like two more george and amal clooney Zach just got a text from his boy. No, I did not get a text from it's a work text okay no. george and amal clooney um i almost have no opinion we don't know anything about them. We don't know anything about them. I mean, she's a very classy lady and he's a very dapper man that like, I'm sure it's fine. I actually don't think it's fine. I think the relationship is probably pretty stale and transactional. Yeah. You remember he was with, um, fuck, what's her name? The tall lady, Stacey Keebler. Mm. I like that. I know him, like that. him and Stacey were a good vibe. And then who was, was there a person in between Stacey and 
them all? I don't know. Probably, I'm sure there were several people in between them. Um, okay. No, the couple, one couple's goal that I do have is Jenny McCarthy and Donnie Wahlberg. Why do I, you have like some adjacent. I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, know, okay. but the only reason like I say they're couples goals is because like they like actively like started doing couples therapy going into, well, first of all, she told me the best way to get a man, which is what she did with Donnie. She said, the best way to get a man is to put yourself on a cock block for a whole year. She said, what do you mean? So you'd be celibate for a whole year. You don't go out with men. You don't have sex with men. You kind of just like are in the year of you and you say no to everything that comes in. If somebody asks you on a date, it's a no, 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 no for one year. And then after that, you open yourself up and it's a yes. And usually at that point, you'll, you'll, you're will you in a different headspace. You're in a different heart space. And so she says, cock block yourself for a full year. That's how she got Donnie. And then they do, like, they immediately started going into, like, therapy to make sure, like, their communication style was healthy. Every year on their marriage anniversary, they do a ceremony renewing their vows. I don't like that, but I like the therapy part. Yeah, the therapy part I actually thought was smart because people usually go to therapy when it's like their last ditch effort. Whereas if you go into it, like if I'm going to go into a relationship with somebody, I want to make sure we're both doing some sort of work on ourselves that we're growing together and one of us isn't growing or staying stagnant. I agree. I'm a fan of, well, I guess I like premarital counseling. Oh, is John here? Oh, ETA 1103BB. Don't call me baby. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Yeah, I I support that. I think that there are also couples goals. I think sometimes I'm like it could be a little sticky with the you know a lot yeah. of yeah. But but also uh, part of me is like I'm jealous. I like their relationship. No, I, I, no, no, I'm no, like yeah. I would actually yeah. Um, are you in therapy? No, I can't afford it. Oh my, uh, Kelly. I I mean I call, like she's like my she's my hairstylist, but she's like become my friend at this point because she's been doing my hair for over six years now. She was the one that kept me blonde for so long, and now she convinced me to go back. She's been trying to get me to go back for to dark for the longest time, and finally yeah. we did it. And I had then, said also dark as well, by the way. Yeah, you told me that like I want to say like a year ago when yeah. I had like really let the roots grow out and I'd cut it short and just the tips were blonde. You were like, "This is what you have to do," and I was like, "I'm not ready yet." And then now here we are, and I'm ready. But yeah, and she actually just gave me this cut. But after she cut my hair, we went to dinner. And she was like, you need to go to therapy. And I was like, I haven't done that in a long time. And she's like, it's really expensive, but like you should be in therapy. And I was like, I don't know. I was, and then I was, I was like, it's too expensive. But I also specifically went, it was like after a breakup. And I was like, uh, I was like, uh. I've only done therapy once in my life. Oh, I grew up doing it. Really? So, Your I mean, parents put you in therapy growing up? I was in, I was seeing psychiatrists and therapists from the age of like seven. Why? I have some, I feel like people don't realize this and it actually bothers me and it actually also kind of a little bit bothered me on Vanderpump Rules when she knows talking about it because I don't think that's exactly OCD? what it is. I have had diagnosed like, severe OCD since I was very young mm. to the point where I mean I was screaming crying fits like just lose it. So it's still something I mean I've always had to be medicated for but so that and then I think also what comes and then I've always had like massive depression. Like I was a depressed kid. I always had massive sleep issues. Like, th- these issues are not new. So I always did. And then by the time I was, like, and then you know, rehab, multi- whatever. By the time I was, like, a doll, I'm like, why have I already done that? But, yeah, if I could afford it, I would be in therapy all the time. And I feel like the best, uh, the best, the most beneficial part of that is being, like, okay, so I'm talking to this guy this week. And, like, what do we think? Because I need somebody to talk me off that fucking ledge. See, that's helpful. I'm very, like, Kim Kardashian of, like, I don't go to therapy unless I absolutely need to. I'll work myself to the bone. I'll break my back. I'll destroy my mental health to get through it, and then I come out stronger on the other side. You are very Kim. Yeah. Am I Courtney? You're very Courtney. You're so... Well, I mean... Or your life is, like, Chloe, and it's just... I was, <laughs> I was just going to say... Would like, you like, rather be Courtney or Chloe? Courtney. Chloe's life is just kind of sad. It's really sad. <laughs> it's really pathetic. I mean, she's talking about a bad picker. Yeah. Do you uh, think I, Chloe should get back with Tristan? Lamar. Oh, um, Lamar, I think is no. I mean, no, he's, that's way yeah, off. That's way off. Um, I mean, at this point, she might as just fucking well. I mean, he can't well, like, cheat on no, her again, can he? Would he like? Oh my god! Like if he, I remember watching him on the show, and I was like, he is such a fucking. This was it, like. Cheating aside, I was like, what a loser he is. I'd never like heard him talk or whatever. And I'm like, she's just attracted to losers. Yeah. 
Which means she's a loser. He's like attractive because he's like he's got a cute face and he's tall, but like y- yeah, there isn't much to him. That's as soon as he talks, I'm like I'm all no no no. Okay, wait, which out of all of the Kardashian relationships? Mm-hmm. Which would be the most couples goals, which is tough Courtney because most Scott. of them have broken up. Oh, yeah, Courtney and Scott. Courtney and Scott. I mean, I did like Kim and Kanye, Kanye at the beginning. I did think that they were like, remember when she was talking about it? She was like, we were on the phone all night and he was like, what do we do? Yeah. Because she was still like married and I was like, oh my God. Because I'm, yeah. You, then, you were not a fan of Humphreys? No. Was anybody? Was her she? Fairy tale she wedding. wasn't. She had her fairy tale wedding. Yeah, and then any of Kylie's people are no. Although, okay, guys, I'm coming around to her and Timothy. I do feel like they've got I like, some nice. I like Kylie and Timothy, which is very different from what she's used to. She's used to dating like these rappers and keeping her relationship really private. And this, she like, listen, seeing Kylie and Timothy ripping cigs like was kind of like a hot moment. Wait, was Kylie smoking too? Yes. What? I believe so. I don't think I remember her like smoking a cig. If I did, I don't know why Kylie Jenner smoking a cigarette got me so excited, but I would like to see that. But yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where you're like, I feel like this could happen to you, where all of a sudden you're like, you're open to something else, and you're like, oh my God. And she's just living life. She's footloose and fancy free. She, you like ooze like yeah. calmness. I will yeah. say the most calm I've ever been, which I know it's hard to believe that I was ever calm, was with one of my boyfriends. It was like technically like my first, first real, real, real one. And I was just like happy and calm. And then I remember, like, we went home to visit my parents, and they were like, oh, my God, I've never seen you so happy, whatever. Broke off with me a week later. <gasps> I know, Why? I know, I know. There was really, he was just like, I don't see it, like, long term. And then I was like, no, no, no. Mm. And by the next morning, I had, like, begged him to be like, no, let's, like, get back together. So he did. And then, he, I guess, like, even in that, like, 12 hours of time, he had booked himself this sort of, like, eat, pray, love trip to go to Europe. So he was still going. So he left, like, two weeks later. He was like, okay, I'm going for, like, 10 days. I was staying in his apartment while he was gone. Yeah, oh, I always did because I had roommates at the time. I was like, you know, I'll stay here. So the night he came home, I went down to his building to let him in. I'm walking through the lobby. It's at nighttime. And just seeing him on the other side of the door, I already knew. I could already fucking feel it. I just could I coming. could just sense yeah. it. So he came in, but I had a trip. And this is like midnight. And I was like, tell me. And he was like, what? And he was, I was like, I know what's happening. I was like, and he was like, no, he was definitely, like, we're going to sleep. He's like, and I was like, Oh, I almost said his name. I was like, I knew. Again, it was dark out, and I yeah. could just tell from seeing through the glass. I was yeah. like, fuck, 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 You fuck, felt fuck. the energy. I was like, fuck, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, no, I want to. And I was like, I was like, I should have just let it happen the first time. I uh, like, I was like, we're not. No, we are. No. Well, because sometimes yeah. you like, you have the 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 rom com, and you're like, no, I'm gonna go all in, and I'm gonna run to you in the rain, and it's gonna work out in the end, and and that's just not real life. No. And it never works out that way. It really doesn't. But no, yeah, I remember being like, oh my God. I forgot how we talked about that, but yeah. Wait, what makes you think I'm I'm more of a Kim personality? Well, no, you're very like, you started at 4.30, you work, work, work. You also haven't had relationships. You're much more, which she, I will say though, she is a, she's a hopeless romantic though. Yeah. But yeah, you're, you are I've, Kim. I'm a little romantic. Yeah, but I she's have... like, she's always like, she, she, before post Kanye, she was almost always in a relationship. Yeah. Which now she's now she's just focusing on herself. Well, now she's dating. Oh is yeah, it? Odell, Odell Orville Redenbacher. O- What's his name? Yeah, Orville Redenbacher. Odell Beckham Jr. Who I was always like, is that David Beckham? No, Beckham. Odell. Who is Odell? Is he an actor? Football. I don't know. He's I, uh, basketball. I want her with Reggie Bush. That was a love. That oh, lost. Reggie. I would say that's actually behind Courtney and Scott. I would say that's my number two mm. of their relationships. Of like, What's your favorite celebrity sex tape? I think of like one. Here's the, well, I love Carl, Colin Farrell. He's like was especially at that time. Oh the hottest me. yeah. But it just sucks because it was short, grainy, like not the best. Yeah. But I so it was proper. But like, if I could have, especially at that time, asked for any celebrity to be in a sex tape, it would have been him. Oh, he's so attractive. Yeah. What's yours? Uh, I mean, I, I Colin Farrell was a gr- great one. Um, uh, because you did kind of, even though it was grainy, you did kind of see a lot. I mean, Kim Kardashian. It's not Paris back Hilton. to Farrell. <laughs> Um, you know, I just saw Johnny Banana's sex tape recently. I did too. I didn't know he it was had on, one. I saw until it on recently. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I saw a link. It's also you can barely see. It. It's like a weird angle, or it's like yeah, you from really the nightstand. You can't yeah. really see his dick. There's a screen grab that I did see where you can see it, and it's not very big, which is fine because he definitely has moves. Yeah, I was like, okay, Johnny Bananas. And Johnny Bananas. Um, I mean, I don't know, pa, uh, Tommy and and Pamela. oh yeah, the OGs, and that was a love that last. See. Okay. 
That's interesting. Did you see her documentary? And she's like, I'm oh, yeah. still in love with Tommy and I'll always be in love with Tommy. And I know. And he couldn't get his shit together or it was just yeah. too crazy. But I'm like, that is a love. You're right. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. And then other selects. I mean, I'm trying to think of ones that are like better quality. I mean, there's Again, Kim Kardashian. Backdoor team. Paris. <laughs> Farrah, that was terrible. No, no, Farrah like with James Dean. Yeah. Um, um, Paris. Yeah. Now Farrah does all sorts of shit on her OnlyFans. Like, literally, like, ass to mouth. Like, she goes hard. Have you subscribed? I have not, but I have a friend that subscribed, and he tells me all about it, and I'm like, wow. Um, yeah. Would well, you, that makes sense. For would you ever make a sex tape? With my boyfriend? Yeah. Not with, like, a random porn star. Yeah, I would, like, yeah. Have yeah. you? I've taken, like, short little clips of things. Yeah. Hack my eye cloud. No, I don't know. Yeah, just short little, you know, like little, and you're like, oh, whatever. Because it's attractive. It's more attractive to see you with that person than it is other people. That yeah. Sense. Yes, I agree. Well, the well, I, I, recording is fun. I never really save them. I always kind of delete them unless it's like really hot and then it's like, oh, just kind of want to relive that. Um, but there was a time recently where there was a guy and we recorded it and then he's like I want to watch it back and I was like okay and then he was watching it back and then he was like oh god that's so hot but then he would reference himself like we'll say his name is Colin Farrell just as a pseudo name he's just like oh Colin you're so hot oh Colin wow that looks so good and I was like I'm so creeped out by this right now this is like cringe I'm like no you're like, not... no, Zachary, you're so hot. Yeah, I'm like, you. why are you watching this sex tape with me in it? And then you're just, like, turned on by your performance, which isn't really that impressive to me, to be honest. No, again, these are short clips and even, like, yeah, with one X. And we'll both be like, I watch that, I still watch that clip often. We'll be like, I still watch that clip often. <laughs> like, or like, I've drunk off, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're like, oh, I've drunk off so many times. Yeah, just, you know, in spur of the moment. It's a good time. More so, yeah. I'm more so for, like, pictures. All of a sudden, I'm like, you know, you're, like, hooking up, and I'm all like, oh, my God. I'm like, don't move. Don't move. Are you ever worried that, like, your nudes or your sex tape will leak, some, like, at some point? Like, Johnny Bananas, like, his sex tape, like, leaked. Yeah, like, no, I am a little. I do. I, like, part of me is, like, I'm nervous and would be worried because I always think, like, oh, parents. That's always what it goes back to. I'm like, oh, what do my parents think? Blah, blah, blah. But I'm also, like, they don't even know. Like, no, I'm, I'm an adult. That's what happens. I don't like, think Nancy leaked. would care. My mom would be like, fuck it. It is what it, like, she'd be like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to think about it. I want to hear about it. Yeah, but, like, I wouldn't want to, like, have to talk. I actually even, I sent them the trailer for this. And then, I, well, because I, I was going to send it to just my siblings, and I realized I sent them, like, the bigger chat, and it's like, we're going to talk about sex and my loss from Virginia to a lesbian named Celia and blah, 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 all in the trailer. And my mom was just like, I like it. And I was like, ah, uh, Because, you know, you just don't want to talk about it. Meanwhile, I, like, sent her the cover art, and she was like, I love it. But as soon as I saw the trailer, I like it. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. So otherwise, I would be okay with it, though. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. No. I like I said, my family. I think at this point, my family. I like I've gotten past the shock value with them that they are just like whatever. Well, I also did this dating show for Snapchat a few years ago. It was called Phone Swap, but they didn't tell us it was called Phone Swap going into it. And so basically they, I remember what they told us the show was, but so you show up and you're being filmed and you're on a date and then halfway through the date, they're like, okay, now you guys have to switch phones and go through each other's phone on camera. I'm not okay with that. Not at all. I'm not okay with any of that. So, well, yeah, there was, I went on a date with the guy and they filmed and he flipped out, would not give up his phone. And so they had to scrap that and I had to read record luckily they had another guy on standby so at that point by the time the date that people can watch now i'd already known about the phone swap that i had already given up my phone but like i'd already known about it so i had to like pretend to be shocked because it was the second date that we were filming because the first guy flipped out and would not give up his phone but then the second guy came in i was actually telling this story last night um on your date (laughs) it was not a date it was just dinner um but so he so you swap phones and then they pull you into a separate room while this person goes through your phone on a giant screen and so it was very uncomfortable because he there were photos that i had there were nudes that i had that were in my trash folder because they were bad ones and i was like oh, oh i don't like those and so he then decided to go that was the first thing that he did was he went straight to the trash he would try to go into my hidden folder and then went straight to the trash and was scrolling through that and then found like some naughty photos of myself that weren't even that great because that's why I deleted them and then he like 
like commented on things that were just like he just like made really he was like okay. trying he was playing it up for the camera but so anyway long story short my nudes came out on i mean they were blurred but they came out on this snapchat show and um and then i remember when it came out my mother was like i remember she was hosting like a paint and wine night and then she like made everybody watch it at paint and wine night i think for her it was kind of just like listen if this is what you're going to be doing and your dick's going to be on the internet then you know what this is just my one. son yeah here he is Listen, I do have, I have a great penis. I'm very proud of it. I'm sad that Snapchat wasn't allowed to show it because the commentary of it was not in alignment with the reality. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just more so like, I don't, it can happen. We'll never talk. My parents have seen me. I've been around literally in front of my mother. Like they've seen the worst. So it's yeah. like, okay, but I don't, I don't know. But would you be, Would are you okay if your nudes leak one day online? I mean, what am I going to say? No, I'm not okay and have a mental breakdown. So yeah, like, okay, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> listen, if Kim Kardashian can monetize off, I'm like, listen, well, I've had this conversation with Harry Jowsey because he's just like, I'm waiting for my nudes to leak. Can they please leak? I was like, yes, can they please leak? I just... know people have tried to leak stuff from his OnlyFans, which I don't think he really does anymore. People have tried to leak from his OnlyFans and then it always gets flagged for copyright infringement. So I'm like, I don't think you really want your nudes out there. Which to be fair, his OnlyFans doesn't really show much. If he wants to send us any. I keep telling, I'm like, listen, slip it i won't post it on twitter can i pay for ppv did you see who's the one? Oh, drake i was like who's the one that was oh, whipping yeah, his hair back and oh forth? yeah i saw i was just like okay yeah. no further comment yeah yeah Alrighty. well what celebrity nudes leak would you like henry cavill oh that's a good, a good one. one or um who do i love let's see well, we've kind of seen Michael Fassbender, but like in full, 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 you know, because I love a gingy. Yeah. Um, who else is there? Like Michael, Harry. We've also kind of seen some of Jamie Dornan, but like, again, these are like soft. Oh, yeah. Because I do love him too. Um, are you a fan of soft dick pics? I mean, they're okay. Yeah. James McAvoy. Which I think yeah. would be good. Yeah. Hmm. Henry, Cav Henry Cavill. Okay. That's Paul a Walker, good one. Paul Walker, please. R.I.P. If that's we could, if we could dig those up. No, the... that's weird now. That's weird now. You can't jerk off to a dead guy's dick. I think it's rude not to. <laughs> His honor. Oh, I'm sure somebody has them. If any ladies out there have any, I know this would be pre-2013. If I'd ever, ever received any, it would actually be rude to leak them in post-mortem. That's what I Just need. send them to me privately. <laughs> You can't jerk off to a dead guy. It's weird. Whatever. I just want to see what it looks like. I mean, I guess. All right. All, All right. Well, this has been another enlightening episode enlightening. of Disaster I Daters. Think we're gonna do. Oh my god, it's almost eleven. We're gonna have more. Um, we're gonna do some more celebrity couples at some point too. I have more. Okay. Until next time, you can find me at it's Jeff Epstein on all platforms. For now, you need to fix your Twitter. By the way, what's wrong with it? Your name is It's Jeff Epstein and your handle is It's Jeff Epstein when your name should just be Jeff Epstein, not It's Jeff oh, Epstein is one yeah. word. Because then when people try to search for you on Twitter, they can't find you. Good to know. All right, well, so, so then you're not really shadow banned on Twitter. You're just an idiot. Stand by on my Twitter handle. <laughs> your Twitter handle is It's Jeff Epstein. Uh, my handle is Just Plain Zach all over the internet. And my podcast is No Filter with Zach Peter. So just go. a plain, regular Joe. Mm-hmm. Average Joe. Average. Okay. All right, till next time. Bye. Bye.